What is up, Tarot Tribe? It is the Priest, and I'm back with another Pick a Card reading. So in today's Pick a Card reading, I'm going to be centering and channeling messages from your future self all about encouraging messages. So every deck has a stone and every stone has a word on the other side of it. And so I'm feeling like the whatever the word is, it's really gonna resonate with you during this time. So this is a timeless video, you can watch it, you can come back, but I definitely know for sure that this is going to be an encouraging message for right now for where you are from your future self. So it's been a long time coming, but I'm really, really excited to be back on camera and to be connected with you guys. I'm really focusing on this channel being centered around true spirituality. So if you guys are looking for inspiration, true inspiration, true spirituality and enlightenment, you can also find that at thetarotpriest.com. So anything that I have going on, you guys can find there. So I am going to be uploading a lot of secret pick a card readings. So if you guys are looking for more in-depth, detailed messages and personalized to you, then you can find that at thetarotchest.com. And also anything that you're ever looking for, only search it in the description of this YouTube channel. Be very, very cautious. Again, like I said, this is the time where you want to have a spiritual eye, the ability to see through the bullshit. Yeah, it's just very important that you guys are following influencers that are also following the truth speaking the truth and connected truly to spirituality now you guys are going to see a lot of other people claim that they're spiritual but really not have that true connection so it is very important that you have an eye a spiritual eye to see and have discernment so that goes with even booking a reading so there's a lot of scammers going around um and it's it's symbolic you know the people who are pretending to be me taking money um and it's so sad but again it's very important that you have the discernment in the spiritual eye to detect okay this is true and this is false Okay, that's including with finding me on Instagram. So a lot of you have reached out. Thank you so much for that. Um, and then if you guys are still here, I do have a collective message for you guys. So it, it is not by coincidence that this card did come out for the collective. It says, my attention to unwanted attracts more unwanted. So a lot of you are going to be challenged to focus your attention. Remember where your focus goes, your energy flows, that's what's gonna grow. And so if you're focusing your attention on the unwanted, you are going to attract exactly what you're uh, thinking about constantly, and that is the unwanted. So shifting your perspective, so I'm really excited for this reading. Let's jump into it. We have four different decks you can choose from. Every single stone has a word of inspiration behind it that I, your, pers your future self wants you to hear. So we have deck number one, deck number two, deck number three, and deck number four. All right, if you guys wanna hear the collective message, definitely go back and listen to the intro. In the meantime, let's jump into the reading and see which encouraging message your future self really, really wants you to hear right now. All right, if you guys chose deck number one, this is your message and an encouraging message from your future self, okay? Deck one, your word is happiness. Oh, this feels so good. Yes, focus on happiness happy times, happy energy, okay? I'm definitely feeling really, really good with this deck here. Lots of intense, high energy that's coming through. We have action. Now is the perfect time to act. Take inspired action towards your dreams. Move forward with confidence, okay? And your other theme is intention. Be clear and decisive. Focus on what you really want. Be bold with your request to the universe. So a few things that I'm getting here is if you missed the collective message, definitely go back and watch that in the intro. This is exactly what spirit is saying is be very clear on what you want. If you focus on what you do not want, you are still holding that vibration of want. So yeah, this is definitely for you, deck number one, when it comes to focusing on what you don't want is what's attracting more of that in your life. So whatever you focus on will grow. So focus more on what you do want. Even if you feel like you cannot manifest it on your own, because some of you are definitely limiting yourself because you want, you feel like you want big things and nothing is too big for the universe. And that's something that I'm really, really hearing is being bold with your request to the universe, which means not feeling like you're asking for too much because that's your own personal resistance, okay? So I definitely feel like this is centered around focusing on happy vibrations, your music, who you follow, following the frequency of what feels and makes you happy. It's very important. So let's see what's going on with you, deck number one. I asked your future self, 
what's going on okay so things are definitely could feel like they're moving very quickly um we have the knight of swords here very hastily i'm not really sure where to ground yourself i'm, I'm definitely feeling like things are moving fast okay we have the king of cups we have the king of wheels and we have the page of wheels okay so many many of you are evolving into a more higher financial status is what i'm hearing for you okay so right now i'm seeing that you're coming up as a page of wheels which means that there's still more to learn before you can position yourself in more of an authority position financially so the king of Pent pentacles or wheels here is usually someone who's a ceo they are also in authority of their own stream of income. So some of you can really be kind of thinking about what it is that you want right now. Spirit is saying not to move too hastily. So that's also something I'm hearing here, but to fo focus on what is going to bring you that happiness and fulfillment. So nothing else matters except for your happiness. Like I know that there's a lot going on. It feels very chaotic um, sometimes in the world, not really knowing where things are gonna go but I'm sensing that if you can just focus on one thing, it would just be simply happiness. So some of the things that you're going through, obsession. So yeah, I'm definitely feeling like maybe disconnecting from social media, discon disconnecting from whatever is draining your energy. I'm hearing this very clearly, deck one. Disconnecting from whatever is draining your energy to change where your energy is going, like whatever you're really clutching onto energetically, I'm definitely sensing that there is a need to change and shift that energy so that you can go ahead and manifest whatever it is that you're desiring. In this case, you guys are on your way to manifesting financial freedom is what I'm hearing. And just having more authority over your money, but understanding that when you're happy, money will flow naturally. It's not when I have money, then I'll be happy because then again, your happiness is always going to be contingent on the money. And so that's why that's very important because if that's the case, you know, things happen. Money may not feel like it's all, always there. And so wherever you're generating your happiness from is very important because when all else fails, you want to be able to be happy and not need anything or anyone to get to that frequency. Yeah, so you guys are really, really getting to a place of being empowered. And this, let me tell you, deck one, if you're here, this is easy, okay? So when it comes to this financial prosperity that you're trying to gain, this is not complicated, but I do see to be patient with the process as you're evolving from the page to the king. Okay, let's go ahead and clarify what the Knight of Swords is here for. Just taking upright, one card, death. Okay, so you guys could be a Scorpio, you don't have to be but we have the death in reverse, okay? So allow things to unfold is what your future self is saying. Everything is perfectly in alignment. Everything is perfectly in alignment. You are correct with wanting and desiring to have more finances. Let's see what your financial um, card was. What was interesting about you deck one is that the author's card came out, so that could be prevalent. But what it says is, dear friends, while money is not absolutely essential to your experience, to most people, money and freedom are synonymous. And since an intense awareness of your right to be free is at the very core of that which you are, it follows. Therefore, that your relationship with money is one of the most important subjects of your life experience. So it's really not the money, that's the desire, it's the freedom to do, to be, to go, to have, whatever it is that you desire, okay? And if that feels good, then again, that's confirmation that that's your future self speaking to you, that's your soul jumping for joy, whatever it is that you want to kind of feel what that communication is for you. It is our experience that as you ponder these cards, you also become activated within you, bringing not only more money, but also evidence of your absolute freedom. So spirit is saying, focus on what you really want. And in this sense, it is freedom, financial freedom. I set my own standards, okay? So, so the only thing that's resisting more in this sense would, would be your old beliefs around money, how you used to see them. I'm seeing that that's what's ending here with the death. Many things are ending. Let's go ahead and get the, the clarification for why the death came out. 
the moon. So we have Pisces. So yeah, this is a spiritual unraveling that you are going through right now. Many things are going to be revealed to you in this time. And again, it's getting you to a place of more trust with your higher self, your future self, spirit, whichever you want to choose. I'm definitely seeing that with the full card here, this is understanding that you are being guided and you're not alone on this journey. Okay, you are not alone. I, I keep hearing that you can have whatever it is that you want, but change your focus from not wanting because not wanting is still a want. It still holds the vibration of want. Okay, let that definitely sink in. So I, I see that you're an empath here. We have get grounded, highly sensitive, connect with nature. So here's the thing with being grounded when everything seems like it's all over or not really having clarity or things not really seeming like they're settling. That would also be an indicator of like a check engine light for your spirit to connect and find a way to get to a peaceful environment. The reason why we say nature is because you can be yourself, you can be free, you can be at peace in nature. And it's also very quiet in nature, okay? It should be for the most part. So I'm definitely sensing that you are sensitive to energy, okay? So how you feel matters. And if you feel bad about certain financial situations or certain situations in your life, it's almost like going down like a domino effect of things happening. So you are learning kind of how to, I don't want to use the word control because I don't like that, but this is more so of having authority over understanding that your emotions are definitely connected to your finances as well. So feeling good matters. Okay. So why is the moon card here? Something's being revealed. The Empress, dang, you guys got three major arcanas back to back. So we have the moon card, we have the Empress energy here. So this is definitely a rebirth that you are going through. You are learning more about yourself and it should be exciting. This is a discovery to embrace yourself and learn more about yourself because whatever it is that you're learning is also giving you the encouragement to become this person, okay? So you're becoming a person who is in authority of their emotions and aware of them with the king of cups here okay so we do have pisces you guys could have that in your chart and we also have scorpio but i'm seeing that whatever this is the unraveling of who you are and what you want is what's attracting this new version so the encouraging message from your future self is to continue to keep going and know that there's a few tweaks that will make your manifestations happen a lot quicker bringing fulfillment and financial well-being, encouraging message for future self and the purchase for the person watching. When I surrender my will to the care of spirit in the universe, I attune my energy with every present stream of well-being. So this is kind of like letting the universe in. Your future self is saying, letting help come in, let your guides come in. Your future self communicates with you through intuition, through instinct, through feeling, through dreams. So this is more so of like opening up a little bit and allowing some of this guidance to come in so that you have help. Future self encouraging message. Something is getting ready to shift in your life and it's for the better and I love it. I heal the habit of fear and I embrace the habit of love. So many of you, again, I'm hearing that it might be time for a social media fast, maybe like a three day fast, um, social media and the news, whatever the media is that you're tuning into every day. Um, just focusing more on the love, focusing on the light. We understand that there's light and dark in this world. And so how we shift things for the better is we focus our vibration on love. Okay. Love, love, love. I just see that this is shifting. Okay. And I see that if you have worries, if you have concerns, this is also a reminder to connect with your future self, your higher self. And that is just the calming voice of hearing that you are safe. You are safe. You can have whatever it is that you desire. Your future self is saying, when you merge with desire and faith, when you believe, okay, put a little belief behind some of these desires, okay? So let's see who you're becoming, deck one. Encouraging message for who you're becoming, future self. Whoa. Protector, you are an old soul. Your best friend is nature, okay? That's the second confirmation. And it's just really to unplug, okay? And nature can never be replaced, okay? Nature can never be replaced. Use your intuition to take you where you wanna go. Awaken to the powerful force within you. 
You are meant to create blessings with your magic. You do have power. Okay, so if you think that little old you, if that's what I'm hearing, or if you feel like maybe I don't know if I have the power or the authority to change this, I'm seeing that that's with this awakening within you. Overall, the encouraging message is that you are safe and your spirit is also here working with you. Your future self is there cheering you on the finish line to come forward and, and your future self is cheering through this feeling of desire. Okay, let's see what the final message is for deck one. Okay, we have two of pentacles, yeah. Make a decision is what I'm hearing. It's that simple to make a decision, make decisions on what is going to bring you the most happiness. Remember happiness is connected to your soul. It's at the core of who you are, happiness, love, freedom. Okay, embracing more of these energies is what's going to also uplift your energy. Um, and again, encourage you just along the journey and knowing that you are on the right path. You are finding your way, not to be too hard on yourself, but to also allow things to unfold. So if you guys chose deck number one, this is your encouraging message from future self. So if you guys did choose deck number one, don't forget to hashtag down below because it's probably not by coincidence that other people who resonate with this deck are a part of your soul tribe and also kind of resonate with some of the things that you may be going through. So definitely take advantage of that in community and connection. So if you guys did choose deck number one, don't forget to hashtag down below. I'm moving on to deck number two. If you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading and encouraging messages from your future self. So if you guys chose the stone, the message from your future self is to trust, okay? And I know that this is probably exactly what you need to hear if you're here deck number two. My message to the universe is just that you receive the encouragement that you're seeking and that you're looking for. Your future self wants you to know that you can envision a new reality for yourself, that you do not have to settle or, yeah, you do not have to settle for the reality that you're in now. So you have permission to dream. You have permission to be happy, I'm hearing, okay? You have permission to be happy. This is what I'm hearing your future self is saying. Believe in unlimited possibilities. Believe that you actually do have influence over the life that you're living, okay? So to trust and have faith in, and I'm also hearing deck number two, if you feel like it's not exactly happening, just because you cannot see it does not mean it's not happening. Just because you cannot see it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. And that's magic. That's something that I'm hearing is that you're learning to have trust and know that things are changing even when they don't seem like they are, okay? And for the good, okay? We also have discernment. All is not what it seems. Stay true to your knowing. Keep your dreams a secret. So if you guys did resonate with this group, I am feeling that you could definitely be in a place where your spiritual eye is opening or is open like in your third eye. So you might be able to see things that many people around you may not be able to see. So I do hear that if you do see some things, yes, all is not what it seems. There's a higher perspective to what you are currently experiencing. So spirit is saying that to trust, but to know that there is a higher way a better way of being able to see what's going on. Cause I'm seeing that all is not what it seems. Let's see exactly your events and circumstances. Justice, so you could be a Libra, you don't have to be. Yeah, justice is being served, okay? You And, and it's the thing where we don't see it, the results aren't here, so we just assume. Um, so I'm definitely feeling with the eight of swords here, um, more freedom definitely is necessary in the way that you're thinking, um, understanding that you are gonna have victory and you will claim victory at the end of this all is what I'm hearing, okay? And victory just simply means that you will be free and you will uh, receive the justice that you're looking for. So I'm gonna get some clarity on some of this. Downcast pride, yeah. I definitely feel like if you're here, your third eye can be open, okay? If your third eye is open and you're awake, then you are definitely not alone, okay? You are definitely not alone with some of the things that maybe you have been seeing, but Spirit is saying to understand that you hold the power to create the another reality for yourself, okay? Now let's just see what this is all about. What is justice here for? And in Five of Cups, yeah. I also hear that for some of you, you will have justice and love. Okay, um, new love will be your justice. That's what I'm hearing for some of you here with the five of cups. We do have some things that maybe you're regretting, not really sure 
um, where they're going to go, where they're headed, where the progress is going. You know, some of this is just simply doubt. And I feel like I'm here to just be a channel of a voice to, to say that all is not what it seems. Things are working out for your good above the surface. So even if you don't see it, I am definitely seeing that it's happening. Um, yeah, so let's get some more clarity here. Don't dim to fit in. So yeah, I definitely feel like you guys could be light workers, healers, tarot readers, um, and again, really connected. It, and if you are, that just means you're in tune. You can feel the energy um, intuitively. How are you dimming your light to fit in? So you're not here to fit in. Um, and the awakened ones in this time will stand out. Uh, we will definitely stand out because we will see things many others don't see. And then, yeah, you find yourself slowly trying to fit in, um, but you're not here to fit in. You're definitely here to stand out. So I'm seeing that trust. I do see that your soul tribe is coming. The progress is happening, okay? Let's see what your law of attraction words were so that we can get into some more encouraging messages. My life story in the law of attraction. Each and every component that makes up your life is drawn to you by the powerful law of attraction. Okay, to the thoughts that you think, the story that you tell yourself about your life, your money, your financial assets, your body, your wellness, etc. The very happiness of your life experience in general is all happening because of the story that you tell. So imagining a new life, a new reality. Okay, you can do this with a quick meditation to your favorite song. Okay, but just shifting your energy and focusing more on, again, what it is that you do want. Now we have my attention to it invites the essence of it, okay? So just thinking about something um, that's bringing doubt or again, because that doubt, because I'm feeling like the doubt leads you to another place that leads you to another place. And you know, once it starts going, it's really hard to kind of get out of this place, but I'm here to tell you that there's hope, there's light at the end of the tunnel. I definitely feel um, like some things maybe you're in the middle of, there's going to be some clarity that comes soon. I definitely feel like the more you become yourself, the more you're gonna attract your tribe, the people who really love you and love you for just you. Okay, so let's just see what this says. Anything you're giving your attention to and is an invitation of the essence saying, I want money, but it will not come is the same as saying, come to me absence of money, which I do not want. When you're thinking of money in that way, that will make it come to you. You always feeling good. So focusing on feeling good about what it is that you want. Okay, because that's the vibration. But if you feel bad about it, it doesn't matter why. I'm hearing very clearly, it doesn't matter why you feel bad about something, feeling good is the same as feeling God, feeling good, feeling God. It's not a coincidence, it's just another O. And it's very important to the vibration that you are in when you are trying to attract good things. You must be feeling good to attract good things. And so it's very, very simple not to overcomplicate it, but it's very important that you are feeling good and feeling that energy is like literally the energy that creates so many things. Okay. Now I'm not going to get too deep into it, but I'm definitely feeling like if you are here, you could be a light worker of some sort. Let's see who you're becoming in this time. We have wisdom. Yeah. So I definitely think that you're connected. You know what I'm saying? The language is making sense. And if not, maybe you're connecting to this, you're evolving into this. The encouraging message is that you are not alone, that you can envision any reality that you want and you can actually shift it. The encouraging message is that there's justice and it's happening. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean that it's not happening. From a higher perspective, it is. It says, let your head and mind reach to the stars, yet keep your feet grounded on earth. Listen to the ancient wisdom in your soul the ancestors speak through you, you know much. So it's wake up time, <laughs> deck two, okay? It's wake up time. And once you wake up, you can't go back to sleep. And many of you who wake up and you open up your third eye, you kind of know that. Let's see what this message is with the third eye because I do have the purple and it's just kind of standing out. What is this message with the third eye? Because we have wisdom here, the star, okay? Aquarius energy, you don't have to be, but yeah, the star, you see the light. That's giving me chills, okay? This is definitely soul tribe. So if you are here, you could definitely be a part of my soul tribe, seeing the light, seeing the light, but to know that there's hope, okay? The star card is here. Light is much greater than any force of darkness and you are the light. And as we all come together, we become a big shining light. And so you just doing your part and feeling good vibrationally is enough to help the world, okay? So for some of you, I'm definitely hearing that you are definitely connected to some type of work that you're doing, okay? 
So let's just see. The universe has big plans for you and it's time to claim them, okay? Big plans for you. So not to give up on your dreams, okay? Make a decision on what you want and don't think about how it's going to happen, okay? Don't get yourself caught up in um, feeling bad. Again, because if you start thinking about, oh, I have to do this, I have to do that, it brings the vibration down. It defeats the purpose. So we have the universe has big plans for you, okay? And then we also have, instead of worrying about the future, all I know and all is well is when I'm lined in the moment. So every moment in the moment becomes the future and then it becomes the past and the moment that you're thinking of in the future will just be the present at the time you get there. So the most important thing is that you're living in the present, understanding we're here for an experience. You deserve to feel this happiness that spirit is wanting to give to you because I'm definitely seeing that there's been a lot of worry, um, but I'm seeing that you're going to overcome whatever this worry is and you being aligned into the moment. Encouraging message for deck two. Deck two, encouraging message. Thank you. Yes, 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 yes. Focus on what makes you happy. Nothing has changed here. Nothing has changed here. Nine of cups and the 10 of wands. There's an ending that's closing. Okay, something that has been very overwhelming. Um, a lot of this is not yours to carry is what I'm hearing for you, deck number two. A lot of what you're absorbing and carrying is not yours to carry. Everyone has a connection to their higher self. Everybody does. Whether they believe it or they don't, the connection is there, okay? So I just see so much um, nostalgia here. I see that you're gonna get to this place of just enjoyment. That's where spirit's trying to shift you, is, is to a place of enjoyment and indulging and happiness, okay? Um, but the biggest thing is to trust, trust that you are not doing this alone. If you truly trusted, okay? If you truly trusted, you wouldn't fear giving up the wheel to your higher self so much, to your intuition, to your instincts. So do you really trust is the question that spirit is asking. But if you can trust, um, the truth is, is that if you can trust, this builds that foundation for you when it comes to being able to live a life that you truly, truly want to live. This trust is literally the connecting factor between you and the, the highest source co-creating at the same exact time. So this is pretty powerful things. Allow this to kind of simmer in. But the most important thing is to enjoy yourself and also to give yourself permission to dream. Okay, give yourself permission to dream is the message and trust that all is well. Justice is being served. Justice is working out and trusting in that. If you guys chose deck number two, this is your message and encouraging message from your future self. So if you guys did choose deck number two, feel free to comment down below and connect with others who resonated with your deck. It's a perfect opportunity to connect with the community. And if you're looking for other pick a card readings that are off of YouTube, you can find them at thetarotchest.com. If you're looking for more insight on your life purpose, your financial situation, whatever it is, you can find it there. All right. I am moving on to deck number three. If you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading and an encouraging message from your future self. So the word behind your stone is smile. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yes, yes, yes. I'm excited for this reading. Deck number three, your future self wants you to smile more. Let's see what's going on right now in your life. Okay, taking all uprights. Six of cups, you have so much to be excited and happy for. You have so much to look forward to. Um, we have soulmates here. We have beautiful community connections coming through. We have a celebration here. So many reasons to want to feel happy and smile. And really what I'm sensing is not to get in your head too much about some things that are heavy in your life or heavy in the world, whatever it may be. Let's get some clarity on this. Sacrifice, okay. Let's see what this is about. What is the sacrifice here for? Deck three, future self message. Something new is getting ready to start in your life. Okay. Something you might not have tried before. This is going to kind of get some more adventure flowing. Okay. More fun, more excitement, more playfulness. Okay. Life was never, never meant to be serious, man never meant to be serious okay we have the six of cups we have the three of cups this is nothing but good energy when it comes to connecting we have aries energy okay and we also have the four of pentacles okay 
So we definitely have some financial things coming through and we also have the tower. So you could be a Scorpio, you could be an Aries, you don't have to be, but I definitely am seeing that you have a lot to be happy for, but sometimes these worries bring you into an energy of thinking about why you shouldn't feel happy or why you shouldn't be happy right now or why you should be productive. I'm hearing that word productive. Um, let's just see what your encouraging message from future self was. I trust that my powerful intentions combined with my faith are enough to allow my vision to become a reality, okay? So some things that you want, it's like, I can't be happy until these ha things happen or maybe it's not the right time to feel this way. And I'm definitely sensing that. Spirit is saying, you are the emperor. You are the pilot of your own plane. What you say goes. And I'm also sensing that there's a financial situation. Let's see what the encouraging message around your finances are. I believe you guys had two. Money is not the root of evil or of happiness. Wow, I have yet to get this card yet. I'm very interested in seeing that because I do have the four of pinnacles here, which is greed. There's nothing wrong with wanting materialistic things, okay? If you have these desires, they are going to want to be fulfilled. Even if we say, oh no, we don't want that and we settle for less than the dream, our, our spirit and our soul will eventually speak up, okay? And that comes through dissatisfaction and unfulfillment. And that's what I'm sensing. So we have... This important subject of money and financial success is not the root of all evil. As many have quoted, nor is the path to happiness. So when you are able to successfully control something like the subject of money that affects most of you all day, every day, you will have accomplished something rather significant. For not only is it certain that your financial success will improve, but the evidence of that success will improve in your everyday aspect. Okay. So when you are fully able to successfully control the subject of money. Okay. So if you can change the subject of money and understanding instead of money is the root of all evil, we have to look at the light too. There's duality here. There's light and there's dark. Yes. People can use money for evil. People can use money for good. So is it really money? What if I said that money was a resource to freedom, more freedom to do what you want, to have what you want, to be what you want to have the time to spend with your family, uh, to not have to worry about the bills piling up and thinking about how they're gonna get paid, not living paycheck to pay. I mean, I'm not trying to preach here or anything, but I'm just saying, one, there's a lot to worry about. And when it comes to money, it just kind of starts as a domino effect and, and it really does affect the way you attract money because it is a vibration. And money is attracted to happiness and happy places. That's why the funnest things that we do have the most money. The entertainment industry, you know, so many industries that we give our money to because it brings us fun and entertainment. So instead, change how you feel about money, your relationship with it, okay? You deserve to have it and there's nothing wrong with having it. Now, these are a lot of messages. I'm, I'm thinking that that might be the whole reading, deck number three for the encouraging message. Um, but I'm sensing that if you've lost something, it's being replaced, okay? Hello, hello. If you've lost something, it's being replaced. So we've got to shift the energy back to the good. Bad things will always happen. But I'm seeing if you're losing something or you feel like you've lost something because I'm, I'm getting a lot of this energy here, it is being replaced. Spirit, what do you want them to know about this? My greatest spiritual shifts don't come through force. They come through freedom. Again, when you are being free and having fun, you will attract all the things that represent freedom. Money is one of them, okay? So that is very, very important here. Um, and I definitely do have a secret money message at thetarotchest.com if you guys want more messages about your finances because I'm definitely seeing that's here. Take a break, deck three. Take a break. I'm, I feel like spirit is really calling you guys out today. Take a break, a life's work not a season get off the treadmill so don't forget why we're here we're not here to just work and and work and work and pay bills and, and do this and i feel like many of us are coming to these realizations especially the younger generation but i'm seeing to get off the treadmill to smile and play get your vibration up and then money and everything that you're desiring will come in effortlessly now your other message of money was my attention to unwanted attracts more unwanted. How did this get in here? This is actually the collective's message, but somehow it got in here. Okay, spirit really wants you to know this. So yes, if you are focused on what you don't want, you will attract what you don't 
want. And that's simply because want is such a heavy vibration. Even if you put don't in front of it, you're still going to get it. So if you're focusing on something, you might as well focus on what you do want. For every pleasing thing, there is an unpleasing counterpart. For within every particle of the universe is that which is wanted as well as the lack of that which is wanted. When you focus upon the unwanted aspect of something in an effort to push it away from you, it only comes closer. Because you get what you give your attention to, whether it's something you want or don't. It is up to you to focus upon and attract what you want. So if you've been attracting a lot of what you don't want, then this is just a reminder to clear up your vibration. And how do you do that? You just focus on what makes you happy. Get back to doing some things that maybe you haven't done in a while. You know, the youthful things. Maybe you used to paint and you stopped. Maybe you used to play certain sports, but you stopped. And maybe you used to jump rope but you stopped, you know, we stop doing these things when we grow up, but we're still a child in the soul. The soul is a child at heart. So let's see what else encouraging mental uh, messages, gentleness. So be kind to yourself, not being so hard on yourself. Okay. This should have happened. This is, this should happen. This needs to happen. When is this going to happen? So I can do this. And it's like, no, you can do that. And then it will happen. So as you shift your energy, then it's going to happen. Honor, gentleness, speak words of love, Okay, so focusing only on high vibrations here. And we also have support, ask for help, get more rest, nurture yourself, okay? So I'm definitely sensing kind of like a timeout, like, you know, take, take a timeout and just, when you do this, I do sense that there's gonna be a lot of clarity that's coming through for you in this time of your life. And this support is just being open to different guidance. And I mean, we have direct access like we have a direct access hotline to the universe okay we have the hotline just open up and ask and and be open to receiving that message so we do have the seven of wands there's been a lot of and i'm hearing even you don't have to work hard to make this happen you don't have to work hard for any of this to happen there's an easier way spirit is definitely trying to un unveil that easier pathway here okay so the seven of wands this is a lot of fighting a lot of competition a lot of trying to figure it out and trying to do this and why is the emperor here for eight of wands yeah something's gonna gonna shift here for you some type of communication is coming in um be open okay be open be open is what i'm hearing be open to who you meet be open to who you meet that's something i'm hearing too and did we talk about love your dreams, very important. I'm seeing that that's here, but let's see what this love is. Look, we have love here at the bottom of this deck. True manifestations are powered by service and love. So what is it that you're doing in your life right now that you love and keep doing more of that so we can, you know, balance at that, balance at that scale is what spirit is saying for you. Okay. Let's see who you are becoming. Encouraging message for who you're becoming. Deck three, smile, smile 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 dragonfly magic i embrace my transformation i courageously let go of the past the magic of nature is in me i am brilliant i am blessed so your future self is saying to you embrace this transformation and courageously let go of the past Okay, whatever has happened, has happened. I see the tower has happened. There's been many things that have happened. Very, And it seems like it could have been rapidly. And all of this definitely just says this was a sacrifice, but not from a, a place of feeling bad. This was cutting off excess that was unnecessary in your life and embracing this transformation to let in something new. So the magic of nature is in you. Your future self wants you to know this and your future self wants you to know that you're brilliant and that you are blessed, okay? And to be a little bit more easy on yourself. And listen, another thing, this is the last thing I'm gonna say to you, deck three, is that everything that you've ever been able to manifest in your life, you've been able to do it based on your own intellect. But if you open up just a little bit more to the infinite intellect, which is your spirit, your instincts, how you feel, this is all communication of you being able to know what is going to be the best path for you and being able to embrace that. So when you open up to this other outside source guidance, you have an advantage and you don't have to do it on your own. 
ideas will flow very quickly to you. Support will come naturally. And this is the shift that spirit is uh, shifting in your life right now. You're becoming more of the dragonfly, much more freer. So I'm hoping that this inspired you guys. If it did, don't forget to hashtag down below deck number three so that you guys can, you know, connect with other people who may have resonated with your deck and take advantage of the community that's in the tab. You know, we're all here for a reason. It's not by coincidence. And so allow that to also come in is what I'm hearing. And I'm going to definitely make a message to the world and saying that now is a very important time to have a spiritual buddy and someone that you can resonate with on a soul level. So if that's you, you can probably find it in the community tab or down below in the, in the comments. So don't wishing you guys the best moving on to deck number four. If you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading in an encouraging message from your future self. So the word for you guys from your future self is faith. I love it. Faith, faith, faith. We've been hearing a lot of that today. You guys may have resonated with another deck as well. Definitely go back and watch that. Let's see what your future self wants you to know. Passion, do what excites you and get fired up about your life. Increase your energy levels, okay? So if some of you, this is a message of encouragement, of a reminder that your future self wants you to know to continue to have faith. Faith in what, Tarot Priest? Faith in the good, faith in the light. Okay, faith in love, faith in your soul, in your spirit. Okay, let's see who you're becoming right now. Deck four. Who are you becoming? Dolphin. Play. Your future self wants you to swim in the happy joy of living. Live your life. Okay, we have one life in this lifetime to live. Inhale confidence and exhale your fear. Your worries, your doubt and fear only comes from our lower vibrational self, the limited version of ourself, okay? Our mind cannot understand what it doesn't know, okay? So sometimes it freaks out in fear, but dive into your wisdom, your future self is saying, and go with the flow. Go with what feels good and get back to your passion and your excitement, okay? This is gonna increase your energy level. In fact, one of the fastest way to increase your energy level is to just simply be grateful. Be grateful to be here, to be alive and not be in fear of staying alive because we are all here for one life in this lifetime. So your spirit, your future self is saying to play. Okay? And this is what I love about, you know, the messages coming out because I can't make this up if I wanted to, you know, your future self is communicating all times. Okay. Future self. What do you want deck four to know about this faith and what they're attracting? Okay. We have two messages here. When I connect to the spiritual realm, I open the door to receive divine guidance, clear direction and great wisdom. Okay. So instead of listening to everything that everyone is saying and the, everything, okay, the chaos, so much static right now, connect to the peaceful version of you. You can do this in nature, but the most important way is through silence and solitude, okay? And then connecting to the spiritual realm, certain music can help you get there, certain meditation music and envisioning, okay? Whatever you want to experience, because you also, Take part in the reality that we're all creating here. We're all collectively creating this. And so there's clear direction and clear understanding of what you should do. Some of you guys are like, what should I do? What should I do? And you're asking this right now. You should play and you should also understand that all the wisdom that you're seeking outside, you have internally. So right now it's initiation for you, deck four. And this is all about spirituality. And I feel like the, your spiritual self, your future self, it's gonna be sending you so many signs and signals. It's gonna be so annoying, you can't deny it. To believe more and have faith more in this spirituality stuff. And it's just what your soul, happiness, love, joy, higher vibrations, okay? The universe is always conspiring to support me to guide me and lead me compassionately toward the highest good. So right now the universe is working with you. You are not alone. Deck number four, you are not alone. Rebirth, you're going through a rebirth. I figured it. 
So this is like a, a spiritual awakening. Okay, I know that you guys have heard this a lot, but usually it's like everything that we thought we knew, some things are shifting, some things are changing and you're changing. And right now you might be reinventing yourself, um, going through a rebirth as reason why I haven't really been on camera. I've been going through my own rebirth. You know, there's different levels of rebirth. And I definitely see that you are having a rebirth so that you can start giving life to your dreams. You don't stop living your dreams because someone said so. 444 on the clock. You don't give up your dreams because someone said so. You are actually here to live your dreams. Think of your dreams as the blueprint and your future self has given it to you. And now you're in this life to live it, but you're not. Then you would be kind of going against your own spirit, your own happiness. And let's see what's happening here. We have nine of wands. We have the wounded warrior, exhaustion. We have the strength, Leo energy, holding on. Okay, we have the seven of cups, so many things to focus on, so many different cups, so many different directions, which is the right one to take. That's what I'm hearing, but you will receive the information right now. It's crazy because I feel like you're actually here because your future self wants you to connect. Okay, future self, how do you want them to connect? Let's see how this is gonna happen. Future self, how do you want them to connect? Is it in a dream? Yeah, I was thinking someone definitely is gonna receive dreams about certain things that you're asking for. Before you go to bed, ask the question and allow spirit to answer it for you. I feel my way into faith one step at a time. So this is, oh my goodness, faith, it's here. Faith is here, guys. <sighs> faith in what? Faith in good. Faith in the good, okay? That there's not just bad, faith in your dreams but this is not gonna be something overnight, okay? And this isn't something where it's like, oh, at words of affirmation, I'm gonna have faith, I have faith, I have faith. But to really feel the feeling of faith is so comforting. It's so comforting, because you know that you're safe, okay? It's a knowing. So being honest with yourself and, and, and asking yourself, okay, what, is there something in the way of my faith? Is there something I'm fearing? Because if I had faith, I wouldn't fear, okay? Let's see what that is, queen of my world. This is good. I like this energy. Answer the call. The ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. So what's happening right now is for a reason. And it's also to get you to alignment to more happiness. Okay. Everything that's happening right now, your future self is literally working and conspiring to bring in some happiness. Something is getting ready to shift here. Let's see why that's here. Nine of cups, this is good. This is a wish come true. Something is shifting. The high priestess, your intuition. Okay, focus on what feels good. Okay, and that's how you know that's also the voice of the universe speaking to you. Your future self speaks through excitement and passion. Deck four, if you're here, your future self speaks to you through excitement. So whatever you're excited about and you follow those things, every single thing will just kind of sync up. Okay, that's where the faith is, is just starting it and allowing the universe to kind of show you that you're not alone. So some of this is going to be through certain circumstances that the universe proves that it exists, that spirituality proves it exists. But I see that you're waking up to the high priest within you. You're waking up to your intuition and it's like, holy crap, this is real. <laughs> and I see that you're just going to have really cool synchronicities that you might want to record, certain things you might see, certain numbers. And it's so fun, you know, allow this experience to be fun and, and play and have joy and understand and you're connected to the light and nothing is greater than the light. Okay. Anything else here? Okay. So answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? The wheel of the year. That's interesting. It's usually the wheel of fortune, but this year seems to be one of the biggest years. Okay. For you personally, the chariot is here. You could be a cancer. You don't have to be. Now this chariot card is telling me that things are moving very quickly at, at the higher frequency that you may not be seeing, but as soon as you make decisions and you make decisions quickly, things are shifting, okay? The decision to be happy, the decision to be at joy, the decision to not worry, you know, to, to let it go, give it to the universe, okay? It's not for you to worry about. King of Swords, and then also just having the clarity for your visions and your dreams, how they're going to happen, how they're going to come forth. How is this all going to happen? How, how, how? When, how? 
why is queen of my world here? All of those questions are not for you to know. In fact, as you go through the journey, you unravel the how, okay? But some of us, we, we stop at the tunnel and we're like, hmm, how are we gonna get through here? How are we gonna get through here? How are we gonna get through here? And we just keep asking so we never go. And then when we finally get through it and we get to the other side and, of the tunnel and there's a light there, we now look through the tunnel and there's someone else there that's saying, well, how am I gonna get through? And you're like, well, just come through. And they're like, well, how am I gonna? It's just walking through, walking through the door. Just, just uh, yeah, it's that easy. Just walking through, okay? And spirit is gonna catch up to you. I slow down and listen to the guidance that's available to me. The signs have been here. So this is just an encouraging message to know that you are not alone, but I think that you've been seeking like externally for this guidance and I'm seeing that it's going to come through signs. It's not, it might not come through who you think it's coming through, okay? You might be driving and see a sign on the road and it says your destiny is yours. You might see a sign on the floor and it says you're safe. These are all messages from the universe, okay? So you don't have to be physically receiving it from, a, from someone, but you might even get a message from a child who says, you should have fun more. Yes, children are pure. They, they speak the truth for a reason. They are highly connected. So your messages can come from many places, deck number four, and I'm seeing that the biggest one is just to simply have faith here. Now let's see what your overall message. I can have money and freedom too. So there's nothing wrong with desiring to have money. More money is what I'm hearing for you. This will be something new for you, new and fresh, even if you don't care about money. Um, you know, care about it in the sense of allowing it as a resource to, to get to freedom. So we have a feeling of being overwhelmed is your indicator that you are denying yourself access that can assist you. Okay, so be open to the access, be open to the help outside of yourself. As you begin to feel freer regarding the exponential of time and money, doors will open, people will come assist you. And the highest currency is energy. And I've talked a lot about this, you know, money is great, but eventually it will be digital money and then we won't see money. And then, you know, that will shift and everything's shifting, but it's truly what's, what's money behind it. It's, it's the value. And sometimes we can find more value in a person than we do money. They might not give you money, but they are a person that has opportunities, that has a space for you, that knows this person. So don't discredit help. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Being open to all different ways of receiving and, and including money. So as you change the way you feel, you access the energy that created this world. It is there for your ready access at all times. So have faith, open up to this access. And I'm hoping that I was able to bring you some clarity and some inspiration of understanding that everything is working out for your good. Okay, to have trust and faith. I definitely feel like you could be resonating with another deck. I believe the other stone was trust. Okay, I believe that was deck two. So if you guys were connected to deck two, that might be something to go back on. But if you are looking for extra messages of spirituality, you can find that at thetarotchest.com, other readings about your life purpose and so forth. In the meantime, thank you so much for being with me in this reading. I can't wait to see you guys more. And yeah, I'm really excited to see what spirit has in store for us. And I'm just giving you guys all this good energy, sending so much love and light your way. I'm out.